I think it just reminded me of the reason why I started documenting everything on YouTube. Pretty clear vision for my act too, but I need to sit down and kind of strategize what those chapters are gonna look like. welcome back to the vlog if you're new here my name is becca i'm a writer and i'm currently working on a very whimsigoth novella we are here to kick off the weekly vlog you saw that i did some writing yesterday morning it is currently monday it's about one o'clock and i've done a few things this morning i had a really rough morning i had my therapy session i heard back from a job that I did not get. I gave myself some time this morning to just feel really poopy about it, but we have persevered, we're moving on. Basically, I want to, I'm gonna continue working and showing you guys the behind the scenes of working on this novella. I am having so much fun with it. And if you don't follow me over on my Instagram, I'm going to shamelessly plug it over here. It's Becca Tobar Writes. I am trying really hard to share more behind the scenes of like my writing over there and a lot more of like the visual representations and like fun stuff that I'm doing with this book. So if you want to see more like behind the scenes stuff and like how I put together like my character collages and sheets and things like that and learn more about the cast that's going into this book, I recommend that you you go check out the Instagram but yeah we're just gonna be doing some writing I have a writing session with Cody at 2 um, and what I want to do is basically just get myself ready for that so last night I started chapter 2 yesterday and what I've decided to start doing is I saw Mick Wrights recently got a tool notebook for her um, like planning and so I was like I want to bust out my tool notebook so I did bring this back out and basically what I've decided to start doing is in my last video I showed you guys how I kind of do a loose outline and like a beat sheet for my stories and I think in order to save myself some time and write a much more solid first draft, what I want to do in terms of like my warm ups before I actually end up like jumping into a writing session is I have a much more detailed chapter outline. So this is my chapter outline for chapter two. I got about a third of the way through chapter two yesterday when I was writing. And so basically what I include in like my detailed outlines is not only certain scenes that are supposed to happen but certain thought process that I think should happen for the main character and basically just making sure that I'm hitting specific beats like for my chapter two I have my setup and my theme stated that's done that's out of the way all that being said I am going to start prepping for my writing session with Cody uh, at two o'clock
Hi guys, it's the next day. Yesterday was <laughs> a bit of a blur, mostly because I don't remember if I said it or not, but I haven't been sleeping very well. And um, yesterday after my writing session with Cody, I went and sat outside for a little bit and read just to like be away from a screen for a little while. And then I came back and I was so exhausted, I fell asleep at 8 o'clock. <laughs> and then I had to wake up and go wash my face and go straight back to bed. So I think I got like 12 hours of sleep yesterday. I feel so much better. But today, I I have a writing stream with Cody tonight that we're hosting on my channel. And I want to do some writing before the stream. Sometimes the streams are not always the most productive time for me, especially if I'm hosting because... I need to just make sure that everything's running smoothly. I want to get in at least one writing session in before our stream later. I've been doing really well lately about meeting or exceeding my 500 word um, goals for the day. I usually end up doing about a thousand, which is awesome. I don't really have a word count goal for this draft and I'm trying to keep it that way. But one thing I wanted to just take a really quick pause to, to note is that I have gotten so many incredible comments on my last video regarding stories and meaning and how do we assign meaning to stories and I think it just reminded me of the reason why I started documenting everything on YouTube and like sharing this part of my life and this writing journey is to like interact with other people and get different perspectives and build this community with like really diversified points of view and um, you guys did not disappoint. I think that is like my most commented on video that I have right now. And I'm just, I'm really thankful for all of you for, for sharing your perspectives and your opinions. And it definitely gave me a lot to think about. So because today is the last day before I start my part-time job, I just want to make sure that I get as much writing in as possible. I am going to get ready to head out for a little bit probably just go to the thrift store spend some time outside before I'm locked in at my desk I'm hoping to be back before uh, noon so that I can have some lunch at home or like a late breakfast and then get started on writing Hi guys, um, interesting angle I have you here <laughs> because um, I'm working at Edwin's desk and uh, I needed to like sit you in front of the window to have like some semi-decent lighting, but we, I finished the first writing uh, like session for today. I wrote for about 34 minutes, I got about 400 words, almost done with my chapter two. I think I'm going to finish it. I'm going to do one more writing session and then take another little bit of a break. Um, I also need to start editing this vlog, so I'll probably work on that for a little bit today. But it's been going really well. Already, I'm seeing that I'm having much more fun with this draft just because there's such a fun group of characters in this book and I'm getting the opportunity to like show them <laughs> and have all of these really fun and interesting interactions and it's just crazy how much the vibes and mood of this book are already so different from the last one that I was working on. Everything with my previous book was so tense and so nerve-wracking and it like almost made me kind of dread working on it I'm not gonna lie but I'm already having so much more fun with this with this book and I feel like I'm 
hitting a really good stride. I feel like the words on the page for this draft are just so much better than what I had when I first started working on my other book. That's just come from practice and from writing a lot. Like I often think about the fact that I wrote a 50,000 page zero draft and then proceeded to write another 70,000 page second draft like essentially from scratch it's just been i've just been writing a lot and i think i've finally gotten to a good practice of it but yeah we're probably going to finish up chapter two which means i get to start chapter three on the stream tonight and that's going to be where my main character meets the b story character character it's exciting so um it's a really gloomy day today it's raining which is why i've changed into um uh, just like a comfy hoodie it's like perfect writing weather so i've already gone through one cup of coffee i'm gonna try to not have another and i will check in with you guys when i'm done with my second uh little writing sprint Okay, so I did about another 25 minute uh, sprint and ended up hitting my word goal for the day. So that's awesome. Anything I get done in the stream tonight is just going to be extra. I also managed to edit all of the vlog footage uh, for this week's vlog up until now. So I did a really good rough cut and I just need to add in like all the bells and whistles at the very end so far so that's awesome we got a good session in I think I'm just gonna like relax and read a little bit before I have the stream later and I'm just gonna like decompress and not be in front of a screen for a few hours which is amazing or I might play Genshin Impact because I picked that back up again and it's been fun. Slightly overwhelming the amount of quests that are piling up for me, but you know, I try sometimes to just ignore that. But we're doing so, so good for today. I am so happy with the progress we're making. Um, I have officially hit almost 4,000 words for the draft already. And um, yeah, super jazzed. Hi guys. So I don't know if I got any footage between the last time i talked to you and now but it's 9 p.m the stream went really well i was so focused on hosting that i didn't get any like behind the scenes clips or anything but uh you get 9 p.m very tired very hungry very done with the day becca um but i ended up getting about uh 1800 words in today which is amazing uh totally crushed that 500 word a day goal i ended up finishing chapter two i actually ended up redoing the ending of chapter two and adding about another thousand words to it so it's about a three thousand word chapter because i needed to i needed to refinish it and redo it because it set up my chapter three just a lot better for me i got about like three four hundred words into my chapter three i feel <laughs> a natural rhythm kind of presenting itself as I'm writing this book. It feels very good as a writer. I feel like I'm leaning into like a rhythm, a routine. I feel like this is the first time where I finally feel really consistent and actually want to like wake up and, and work on this. And that feels so great. But I need to finish up some paperwork for uh, my part-time job because um, I start tomorrow morning. I need to like lay out my clothes and uh, just basically get ready for tomorrow. It's only a four hour shift. And I think once I'm done, I'm actually going to go to Barnes and Noble and write for a while, um, which will be great. It'll get me out of the house. And yeah, 
it'll be it'll be a good time i will check in with you guys when i can yesterday and was so tired I have just been so tired this whole week work went really well <laughs> it was a really really fun change of pace I really like where I work they have some really beautiful pieces of clothing but yeah I worked for like four hours I had every intention of like going to Barnes and Noble and working there for a few hours afterwards but honestly I was so tired and so uncomfortable in the clothes that I was wearing that I was just like, I'm just gonna go home. And then I just spent time with Edwin. But today, it's Thursday, it is nine o'clock in the morning, I had the place to myself. And usually what I would do on days like today is like, I would, I'm gonna write, I, I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write. And I would usually do like check-ins in between each session with you guys, but I feel like that really breaks up the flow like there's a very delicate balance to strike between like filming yourself right and actually writing <laughs> I've been pretty like transparent that sometimes I become a little bit more en engrossed in like the YouTube side of things rather than the actual writing side of things and because I'm in such a good groove with this book right now I keep saying book I say novella I say book I don't know what it's gonna be yet to be completely honest I could see it being like a full book now that I've like been in it for a while but I'm not gonna put any sort of I'm not predisposing this this story to anything so I'm gonna say book but I really don't know what it's supposed to be this story I'm in such a good place with this story that um, I'm literally about to wrap up like my act one in my third chapter like I wanted it to move like pretty quickly and I had a really good writing session the other night after the stream and so I just want to like have another really good writing session today so that is what we're going to do you'll see snippets of my day but I probably won't check in with you guys until um much later probably until around like five o'clock because I really really want to just focus on writing as much as possible today so I'm going to work on that you will see snippets of my day and I will check in with you guys later. Also, do you like my ghost pillow? Edwin and I came up with names for every single one of the ghosts and I forgot two of them, but he's so, she's so cute. So anyway, all right, I'll check in with you guys later. guys it's the next day it's friday i wrote yesterday um <laughs> but uh once i did like my hour-long sprint honestly 
I just felt like I needed a break. Um, I also worked on editing this video and I just, I had a lot of stuff going on that I didn't really realize. I also had to work on job applications and stuff. So that just took up a lot of my day, but I got up super early this morning um, and got my thousand words in already. I think by like 9 a.m. Well, I didn't get a thousand. Let me not lie. It was like 700 something. For about 45 minutes of work, I got about 700 words in, which I'm really, really happy with. Well, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Number one, I am about to finish my chapter three. I This is well past novella length. Like I'm almost at 7,000 words. <laughs> And we're not even close to halfway of this story. So I think this is just going to be a book. I'm, I mean, I'm having so much fun writing it. I literally wake up excited to write it. I am just, I'm having a good time with it. There's a bigger story here than I thought. And I'm just really looking forward to getting into the rest of this world. And so I've just been busy this morning writing this chapter I have like the last uh two scenes to write it's been good I I with this draft I think I've mentioned it before but I I feel like it's already in much stronger shape than any other draft I've worked on of any project so I feel like I feel pretty confident calling this draft one <laughs> instead of a zero draft the way I'm kind of going about this is I mentioned in my last video that I've already I really like fleshed out my my act one. I had a very clear vision. I have a pretty clear vision for my act two, but I need to sit down and kind of strategize what those chapters are going to look like. I think when it comes to like my process of writing and like theming and finding out what's important and stuff like that, as I'm writing, there's things that are naturally kind of coming up and I'm just like, ooh, that would be really cool. Like, for example, I made Peter's dad an author and I'm like, OK, like, how does that factor in is the book? that Peter's dad wrote important to why Peter's back home or like what is it about is it a foil for anything in the story and I think that's how a lot of story crafters writers anybody creative might go about deciding like what to include in a story and they think of all of these cool things to like make the story better I'm just talking from my experience that could totally not be the case for anybody else but that's kind of what has helped I think beef up this story just so naturally so after I finish my chapter three I am going to take a pause from drafting and just get back into the outlining process and just figure out what the middle of the book is going to look like in detail I'm not worried right now about things like pacing about it making too much sense to anybody else other than me because when I go into like my revisions there's um Alyssa in the books mentioned this and there's someone else on TikTok if I can find it I'll link it that mentioned this and it's like it kind of changed my mind or it kind of helped me frame revisions a little bit differently and it's like first you have to make it exist so like getting the draft out on paper then you have to make it make sense so that's you know making it really cohesive fixing any, fixing any plot points and then you just have to make it good <laughs> So that's where you can go back and like polish things and like fix up the pros and, and really make it sing. I've had a lot of fun working on this. It's just, it's such a great story in my opinion and I really love it. And I just, I actually can't wait for people to read it. Like I, I want feedback on it. And it's just like, I don't remember ever working on a project that has made me feel like that and um oh before i go also want to note that in my last video a lot of you well one person two people commented asking if i have ever made like a notion template for like the the system that i use for like having my story hub and i'm happy to announce that i actually have made one <laughs> and it's linked in the description box below it should be live all you have to do is if you have notion you can duplicate the template and um have your own it's fully customizable i kept it pretty simple and uh i think you guys will enjoy it i've really enjoyed using it thank you guys so much for watching this week's video i really really appreciate it i know i've been doing a lot of vlogs lately 
they're just they're fun they're easy but i promise i will get back to some of the other video ideas that you guys have requested and i'm working on it i promise it's just it's been kind of crazy so thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please consider giving it a thumbs up and if you liked me and my journey and how i'm pursuing the writing game maybe consider subscribing i upload new videos every saturday and yeah we have a good time here on the channel I am so thankful to each and every one of you for being here. My journey on AuthorTube has been nothing short of amazing. So I will see you all in the next video.